Welcome back. A Wilson Creek man is serving more than a year in prison after he broke into a home and molested a girl. Robert Rabideau, a 66-year-old man, pleaded guilty in Grant County Superior Court to assault of a child in the third degree with a sexual motivation. Grant County Superior Court Judge Evan Spurline sentenced Rabideau to a year and three months in prison. Chief Deputy Prosecutor Alan White stated the victim's family wanted Rabideau punished with a prison sentence, but had concerns about the child testifying during a trial. Rabideau went to his neighbor's home while the victim was in bed. He stood outside the victim's bedroom window and convinced her to open it. He entered the home and carried the girl outside and molested the victim in a nearby garage. The victim's grandmother found the girl outside and later found Rabideau and ordered him off the property. Rabideau later admitted to family members what he did. The remaining garbage drop boxes in Grant County are staying open for at least another year. The Grant County commissioners decided not to close the boxes in Mattawa and Cooley City. The boxes were scheduled to stop operating later in the year. The cost to use the boxes is remaining the same. The hours of operation are being reduced for the Mattawa drop box to 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. The change starts on May 1st. The commissioners decided in 2013 to close the seven garbage drop boxes after they lost money for several years. The money lost by the drop boxes is paid by people using the landfill, including people with curbside garbage collection. The two remaining drop boxes are the most heavily used and drew the most support from people who wanted to keep them open and only lost $10,000 last year. Officials are examining ways to make the system self-sufficient. A concession stand is expected to open on Soap Lake's Smokayam Beach this summer. The Soap Lake City Council recently approved a concession agreement with Ann Greenhaw. The concessionaire formerly operated Steamboat Rock State Park concession stand in Electric City. The concession stand has been closed two years because the city hasn't found someone to operate it. Greenhaw is expected to provide the city with a list of the items she will have available. The city is charging a 5% annual fee from Greenhaw's food sales. In Northwest news, marijuana use is legal in Oregon, but blowing pot smoke in a child's face is not. 22-year-old Christopher Kling is facing several felony charges after someone showed police a video of him taking a hit from a pipe and blowing marijuana smoke into his one-year-old's mouth. Police say Kling admitted to smoking pot and blowing it in the child's mouth. He is currently booked in jail. A community is shaken after an attempted kidnapping. Police say a 34-year-old man tried to grab two children on church grounds with their parents nearby. Reporter Claire Doan spoke with witnesses about the struggle to stop him. He grabbed two children and started trying to run away with them. The attempted kidnapping happened Saturday at the Calvary Christian Center on Del Paso Boulevard. Families gathered in this area to eat lunch after choir practice. A lady, one of the sisters comes in yelling and crying and, and, and screaming, they try to take my kids, see, they try to take my kids. Police say Paul Nelson grabbed a two-year-old and a five-year-old and tried to run away with them. Frank <laughs> Yee was one of the men who stopped Nelson before police arrived. Once he got away, we, we ran after him. Uh, we went over here to this other area in the parking lot. Um, Kendrick was able to then tackle the guy and I got the bottom half of the, of, the, of the guy. Witnesses say Nelson seemed to be under some sort of influence. Describe his demeanor, Frank. How can I say crazy? Uh, basically, um, he was just that. When I saw him um, holding the two children, his eyes were kind of rolling back in the back of his head. The deacon at this church says he knows Nelson, who is a single father. He went through a new membership class here, um, um, but he's not a he's not a molester. He's not any of that. Whatever they're making him out to be, you know. And, um, I mean, he's a good guy. He's got a good heart. Regardless, the foil kidnapping has made families who attend service here afraid. It's scary to just to know that, you know, coming from the church and then for someone to just to be out there that way. It's just scary. to. I've been living in this neighborhood all my life, and I just can't believe that somebody would do this to our church. 
And that's going to do it for us here at i 501 News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.